Hi, I'm Nicola Cairncross. Hi, hello. Hey, hi. I'm going to talk to you about success. Yes. Hello everyone, Nicola here. Coming from internal Greece this time because it's been raining. It's been raining for days and days and days. I escaped England, came back to sunshine and uh, found that it's raining all the time here. But at least in between rain there is sunshine, occasionally. Not very often. So uh, what am I doing with myself, you may ask? I'm indulging myself in my hobbies. Because I have some now, which is quite interesting. Creative writing being one of them. I've got the whole um, writing club group coming around tomorrow to host. I'm hosting the meeting. We're recording five episodes of the podcast as well, which will be good. That'll keep me busy editing it for the next week or so afterwards. Um, what else do I do? I'm reading more. I'm going this afternoon to a reading club where some... I don't know what happens at reading clubs, but I, I guess you get told what to read um, between one meeting and the next. So I'm working on hobbies. I'm thinking of watercolour as well this year. So I'd quite like to go on one of those um, cooking and watercolour painting holidays in Tuscany. That could be on my dream board for this year. So yeah, I'm just trying to find things I enjoy doing. And if you're feeling a little bit down because of the weather or because things aren't going your way or because you've had a setback of some kind, in the rest of the show, I'll be telling you how I pick myself up and carry on because actually, you know, any kind of success, it's all about what goes on between your ears. I know those weren't my ears, that was my head, but anyway, my ears are located on each side of my head and it's all about what goes on in your head. And I've got to say, some things are very difficult to, um, what's the word, control your feelings and emotions on. Sometimes you get just sideswiped by something so big, it takes you a little while to um, come to grips with it. But, you know, every day, especially as an entrepreneur, every day you have to get up and you have to make yourself do something to move your business forward. And sometimes you don't feel like it. So um, I'm going to share some of the things that work for me. So let's get on with the show, shall we? Okay, so it's the new year, you've made some New Year's resolutions and you're probably finding that already you're not sticking to them. Sorry to be depressing, but it's true, isn't it? And the reason I know that is because I've given up making New Year's resolutions. What I do now is I set goals for the year, I set intentions on how I'm going to achieve those goals and then I start taking action. And really that is the only way to go about it. But what do you do if you're not feeling like it? Now, I am actually someone who's quite feelings driven. You know, I remember when I was 16 and I first went out out to work and uh, my boyfriend split up with me and I was mad about this one and he just um, it made me feel so bad I could barely work you know it, I, I got taken into my supervisor's of office and she said what's the matter and I said you know I split up with my boyfriend and she was like oh dear well you're gonna have to get Get, you're going to have to get over that or you're going to have to learn how to live with it while you're at work. So that was my first lesson in that people really don't give a um, about you. So that was an interesting experience. But over the years I have learned how to um, control my mind. My, uh, It took me a long time actually and I was at the mercy of my emotions for a very long time. And then I met um, a guy called Andy Shaw who'd written, um, who was, he really thought differently, you know, I could tell he thought differently. And whether it was a, he was a man because men seem to be able to compartmentalize better or whether it was just that he's a master of mind control his own mind control he doesn't try and control anyone else's um, but he, he ended up writing a couple of books I said to him you know I said first of all I said you, we need to know how you do property so he wrote a book about that then I said to him one day how is it where you're so successful and everybody else isn't why you read a book and, and put it into action and I read a book and put it into action but 95% of people don't do that and he said it's because I've got control of my mind Nicola and I said well you need to teach people how to do that because it's a tough one and so there is actually specific techniques you can do um, and I would highly recommend you read um, Creating a Bug-Free Mind and Using a Bug-Free Mind. They go together, those books. <clears throat> Phoebe, if you're watching, Creating a Bug-Free Mind is actually in the suitcase of books I left behind and Using a Bug-Free Mind is in my bedside table here because I still read them. 
And uh, the other things I do when I'm not feeling like it, and sometimes I wake up, you know, sometimes when it's been raining for a long time, I don't feel like it because it just brings me down. There are certain things I do, little fixes, little pick-me-ups, if you like. The first thing I do is make my bed. I absolutely cannot bear an unmade bed. And um, so I'll, I'll pull the bed back to air, go off and get dressed and everything, and I'll come back and I'll make my bed before I leave my room. That makes me feel like I've achieved something for the day. Um, you actually do achieve quite a few things. You get up, you shower, you, you, know, you clean your teeth, you put your lenses in, you get dressed. You achieve quite a lot by the time you actually leave your bedroom. Um, but making your bed, <clears throat> making your bed makes you feel, you know, that you're in control, you've got something nice to look forward to later. The other thing I do is I always try and blow dry my hair. Now, in Greece in the summer, that is not possible because you get so hot and sweaty, even just breathing, <laughs> you, you, I tend to not do my hair in, and also I'm going down the beach, so I don't want to blow dry my hair and then go down the beach. But in the winter, even if I'm not anticipating seeing someone, I will blow dry my hair, not least because I have to talk to you, and I want to look my best as far as that is possible. And so doing my hair makes me feel like I'm ready for the day. The other thing I do now is my son, Nelson, brought me some um, perfume for Christmas. He bought me a perfume I used to wear when Steve was alive. And uh, I wasn't sure if I would, you know, even the smell of it would make set me off. But um, it turns, that I'm, turns out I'm fine now. So I'm wearing a perfume called Happy. And even picking up the perfume called Happy and spraying it on myself, it's like I'm spraying happiness on myself. That's very cool, isn't it? Right, the other thing I do is I journal. When I'm feeling bad, I just get out my diary. In fact, it never goes, I never go anywhere without it. It's a moleskin diary and I use it to write my to-do lists, I use it to journal in, and I use it to um, do things like answer the top five questions on what you want to do with 2018, you know, stuff like that. And I really find that writing out your issues is so, so helpful. If you just start writing, I feel bad because and then just start writing it out. It's absolutely fabulous. You can throw the books away. In fact, when I moved to Greece, I had to get rid of about 10 of them because I've been doing this since uh, January the 18th, 2011. Uh, so yeah, it really, really helps. And um, sorry, I just got distracted by a rainbow outside. <laughs> Squirrels. He <laughs> included Smart Master and he made me this collar so that I may talk. Squirrel. Yeah, it really helps. Write it out. Have a few little rituals. Changing your physical space can help. My sister told me about that one that she got from Paul Fugel. So uh, today I went out and I, I hauled some wood. I lifted the wood out of my retro covered wood pile into onto my balcony so that I can get it from my living room easily. So doing a bit of physical exercise helps change your mood. Go for a walk, um, get, get some sunshine if you can. You know, if there's no um, sunshine, do something nice. I had a really nice lunch, cooked myself a really nice dinner on Sunday, which was chicken, roast chicken. And I had a really nice lunch today of lentil and chicken soup. So treat yourself in healthy ways and um, find lots of little rituals that make you feel better. And I hope whatever's bringing you down doesn't last long. Taking action always helps. So that's it from me and I hope this helps. Uh, let me know in the comments above if you're on the blog, below if you're on Facebook or YouTube, um, how you change your mood if you're not feeling quite so up as you'd like to be. Well, I've realised that I've made um, a bit of an almighty cock up, in fact. Uh, on the last podcast, VZine, no, on the last VZine, I read out the things that are on the blog and the podcast, but I read out the one things that are on there now. So now I've got to scramble about and look for the things that are forthcoming, but then that'll screw up next week's VZ. So I think I'll just give it a miss because you know where the blog and the podcast are, don't you? At nicolacairncross.com forward slash blog, you can find pretty much everything that um, I put out. And on ownitthepodcast.com, which is just one of three, four podcasts I do at the moment, you can 
find um, Judith and I talking about anything and everything that affects being an entrepreneur, whether that's money, marketing, uh, mindset, or much, much more. Uh, the other podcasts I do are Write Club, the podcast. If you are a reader, um, and you will love this. If you like Radio 4, you'll probably enjoy it too. And if you're a writer, hopefully you'll absolutely love it because it's all about being a creative writer. And the final podcast I do is obviously Clicks and Leads, which you can find on iTunes or Stitcher. And that's an audio version of this V-Zine. So if you don't like to watch and you'd rather listen, then you can subscribe there and um, check it out. So what am I going to talk about? What am I going to fill this section with? I thought I'd talk to you a little bit about Clicks and Leads Academy, which is my membership site. Um, and the reason I, I'm prompted to do that is because one of my members who came to the workshop, um, well, I've had two really nice messages this week. I've had one from a guy who just joined Clicks and Leads Academy, and he's going, when are you going to put the dates for the next workshop up? Because I want to book and make sure I don't miss it. Well, I think it's probably going to be week commencement the 6th and 7th of May. I'm speaking at the International Coach Federation annual conference on the 8th of May, so I'm thinking probably for the Friday and Saturday of that week would be a good idea. So just let me know, email me nicola at nicolacairncross.com if you think that's a good date and if you'd like to come, and I'll make sure that you get on the list to get the dates as soon as I announce them. The other thing that's really nice that's happened is I got a message from um, someone who shall rename name anonymous, but they said, uh, I can't believe how much support you you give us in this membership area. I can't believe how quick you respond and I can't believe how detailed your responses are. And he said, it makes me feel quite emotional, which coming from a guy was really quite sweet. And it made me feel quite emotional because I absolutely love, love, love mentoring business owners to do their business marketing better online or to get someone started, you know, someone who hasn't had an online business before. It's something I did for a long time in the money gym and it was the thing possibly I, I enjoyed. Um, it was up there with the top two anyway, the things I enjoyed most about working with people in the money gym. And then I sort of lost my way a little bit because I got seduced by the idea of building a very big business when I didn't have to do the work, but I was just a sort of figurehead, if you like, um, until I came back after Steve died to thinking what's work that's most meaningful for me. And actually actually working with people in um, a, a small group environment and one-to-one and -one as well. I really very much enjoy that. And I love it when people take action, you know? I love it when people come on a workshop and they come off the workshop and they take action and they report in the Clicks and Leads Academy what they're doing. And I can, if they report, I can I can give them feedback. I can say, oh, hang on, before you do that, you might want to think of this. And I just absolutely love it. It gives me such joy to be able to help people like that. And I had a call yesterday with someone who um, was thinking of joining. He said, I've been thinking of joining since um, November and I missed your special offer at Christmas. So he said, any chance of getting that special offer? And I said, no, no, there isn't because I make these special offers to try and tip people over into taking action. And sometimes the only thing that will make them take action is a special offer. And if it's not time limited, then it doesn't have any meaning. It does it's a meaningless offer and I'd get a reputation as someone who made those kind of offers and didn't stick to the terms of them so I'm not about to do that so he I said to him you know it sounds like at the end of the call we talked about his business we talked about his marketing and at the end of the call I said well it sounds like you don't need one-to-one um, -one, you don't need monthly mentoring you really just need to join Clicks and Leads Academy and he said oh I thought you'd say that and I said well, of course I'm going to say that because I can't help you otherwise. <laughs> I cannot help you unless you join. So if you want to get my help every single day, if you want it twice a day, five times a day, however often you need it, then all you need to do is come along to clicksandleads.com and sign up for the VIP waiting list and you will get to know as soon as the membership opens again and you will be able to join. So come along, make that first step, just move yourself one tiny step forward to marketing your business better online or creating an online business and join the waiting list. And I will speak to you next week. Bye.